March 30th, 2003 was the day Brock Lesnar nearly died. In his first WrestleMania match, the Beast took on the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. The two phenomenal athletes had one of the most physical WrestleMania matches of all time, but it nearly ended in tragedy. Earlier in the day, Brock Lesnar was told by people backstage that he should perform a shooting star press. Brock had performed this move earlier in his career, but stopped due to how dangerous it was. Lesnar didn't want to do the shooting star press, but got talked into it. After wrestling with Kurt Angle for 20 minutes, Lesnar got onto the top rope to perform the high-risk move. It didn't pay off and nearly cost Brock his life as he landed on his head and neck. Somehow, Lesnar was able to get back up and finish the match. Once Brock Lesnar got backstage, he was hurting and getting swarmed by a mob of people. I was getting warm, I was getting sick, and all these people surrounded me, and I was just going nuts. You know, people were grabbing me and wanted me down the stretcher, and wanted me in the ambulance, and I wasn't having any of that. There's a good chance you've seen, or at least heard of, the Montreal Screwjob. In short, Bret Hart was leaving WWE in 1997 to go work for their competitor, WCW. Bret was the WWE Champion at the time, and his last match for the company was at the Survivor Series pay-per-view in Montreal, Quebec. Hart's WWE contract gave him reasonable creative control, and he decided not to lose the championship. The owner of WWE, Vince McMahon, wanted Hart to drop the title, but legally couldn't say no, so he did something different. During Bret Hart's final match, McMahon had the bell run and awarded the championship to Brett's opponent, Shawn Michaels. This is all planned behind Brett's back and the hitman was just as shocked as the fans. Since this happened on live TV, most people have seen this infamous moment, but few have seen what happened backstage. Shawn, you weren't in on that? <sighs> idea. I don't even know if I, God's my witness. My hands are clean of this one, I swear to God. He's yelling at me out there. I gave him the belt when I came back here. I will not have any part of it. After the cameras left, Bret Hart had a private meeting with Vince McMahon. Bret then shared what happened immediately after. What happened? Somehow Vince uh, ran into my hand, but I drilled him. You know, about as hard as I could. Knocked him right out. You knocked out Vince McMahon with a punch. And I told him to get out. So don't look at the camera, trying to look for In late 2017, Dean Ambrose suffered a triceps injury and was out of action for nine months. Finally, in August 2018, Ambrose was getting ready to make his return. A WWE camera crew was filming the lunatic fringe when he got a phone call informing him plans had changed. No way. You're kidding me. I am feeling good. I happen to be feeling fantastic. Thank you for asking. No, yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm like, cause I'm not out there, except for you know the last eight months, like where I nearly died. But thanks for calling. No, now, now you call. I'm gonna get on a plane and go all the way back to the East Coast on about this much notice. I've been back in the game for like 30 seconds, and I'm already getting pissed off. Santino Morella was one of the funniest WWE wrestlers of all time, but just like everyone, he can get ticked off. In 2005, Santino was training at WWE's development system, OVW. During a show, Santino was playing a fan in the crowd. He was supposed to act terrified of the boogeyman, but instead laughed. The man in charge, Jim Cornette, became enraged and slapped Morella afterward. Cornette ended up getting fired, and Santino continued his WWE career. Over a decade later, in 2017, while at a convention, Morella and Cornette bumped into each other, and it went as well as you would expect. Get the away from me! I'm trying to walk away from you! Hey, look at this guy! He's trying to start a fight with me, and I'm trying to walk away from him! After winning the WWE Championship, Eddie Guerrero made a tear-jerking phone call. To hear it, hit the video on screen.